Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we the Cinema 500 Max which is right over here on the ceiling and projecting to this screen that I've got right over here. Now for details on the unboxing experience I will leave it towards the end of the video so let's start talking about the experience that i've been having with this projector first of all in terms of build quality it did surprise me it's really well built nice plastics and it has a really nice texture on the top which gives it a little bit more elegance a little bit more class really nice now we can put it on any surface but one of the things that i really enjoy is to put it on the ceiling which looks and it gets out of our way and really nice in terms of the system it has Android inside but have in mind that the Android that it has it's not Android TV and it's not pure Android it's Android to support the menu so that it's faster so that it has a smarter interface as we will see in just a few moments so just have that in mind you still need a Android TV like the Nvidia Shield TV for example which will be the device that I'll be using here to show you the experience it brings a remote control which we will be able to do or to access all the options that the projector has but we also can access those options by the directional buttons that we see on the projector on the top and the buttons are really nice it, it, it just makes it a little bit more classy that texture and then the blue led buttons really great in terms of connectivity to hdmi to usb one audio out 3.5 millimeter jack and integrated speakers resolution 1080 native which gives us a great experience in terms of image quality and a maximum of 150 inches at this moment i've got almost three meters of distance right over here which means that I, i'm on the 100 inches size of course if you put them further away then the image will scale up without losing resolution up to 150 inches. and then we also have the option to uh, adjust the resolution just in case that we have a different area or a smaller area to project in terms of options we will have wi-fi options we can connect directly to our network or we can connect uh, to bluetooth devices we can connect via bluetooth to a soundbar or any audio system or any other device that has bluetooth in terms of image uh, settings we will have the projection mode for example mine is 180 degrees upside down so that we can have regular image it has the keystone options zoom and then we also have the updates to the system which are automatic automatic as long as we have a Wi-Fi connection to allow that. Now we also can play back without any external device movies, pictures and videos if we put in a USB drive at the back and we just select one of those options. One great thing is that we can also play back a PowerPoint, Excel or Word on the office uh, option. We just need to press it and it will open the document that we have right over there. So that is really useful. If we don't want to use any computer, any accessory, the projector will be able to handle it by itself. If we want to screencast or mirrorcast one of our phones to the screen to share photos or share anything that we want, videos and so on and so forth, we can do that. Doesn't matter if it's Android or iOS. I did test out with my for iPhone 11 Pro in this particular case it worked just great and the image quality I did test out as I said before my Nvidia Shield TV right over here which is one of my favorite devices to have a TV experience I did use some apps like YouTube Netflix Godi Novo TV which is a TV provider that we have right over here and my feedback is simple the image is really nice a knitted and sharp image with a really nice resolution it's native 1080 at a great price in this particular case the only thing that it's not on par it's the sound now the sound is not bad but it's not the best thing that i've seen so far in terms of projector and one thing is that if we use the integrated sound of the projector we will lose in two scenarios one of which is the sound which is okay but it's not great experience and we will also hear the fan uh, noise which is not very loud but we will hear it if we use an external sound system then we will have the best experience in terms of image which is great from the projector we will have the best experience in terms of sound and it will eliminate the sound of the fan so that it is in my opinion the best choice if you don't have a sound system and if you are watching the movie by yourself then i would suggest a pair of headphones that will isolate you here and then you will have a great experience doesn't matter if it's a movie if you are playing some games which is also a great experience so 
that's my feedback. But image quality wise, really, really spot on. One of the tests that I usually do as well is, is in terms of intensity of light. And I have three levels of intensity right over here. Now, the best experience for this kind of projector is always, always as darker as possible. It will give us a better environment and a better viewing image quality. But this projector has 8000 lumens and it works really nice. And one of the things that happens usually is that the camera is prepared at this moment, for example, is prepared to record in a darker environment. I'm with an aperture of 1.4, which doesn't matter, but it will capture a lot of light. So when I do test out with the light on the highest intensity, it will blow the image and it doesn't and it does look that we can't see nothing at all that is not the truth and it's not just with this projector i always mention this on my reviews it is a bit unfair for any device so just have that in mind and i did record while i was adjusting the iso and the aperture so that you could see that it's not exactly what the camera shows uh, what i see exactly with my eye so overall the image quality light intensity everything great so in conclusion guys i'm really happy with the performance of the project in terms of image in terms of build quality in terms of the system itself android managing all the options and so on and so forth the only thing that i would suggest as i said before is use a external audio which will give you a great experience at a budget price for the image quality that we get that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget your usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one